Hello everyone, I'm China Daily Sports Journalist Shi Fu Tian and today we are honored to have an interview with the young Chinese Winter Olympic champion Su Yiming. I still remember the first time I met him was back in 2019 when he was just 15 years old at the Fifth World Cup, also at the Shogun Industrial Park. At that time I would not believe in just three years the young athlete would become an Olympic champion. So today we want to let him to share his stories behind the success and let's see what kind of interesting stories that he would like to share with us. So welcome Sue. First, well, welcome to our show. Well, first, congratulations on the great performance at the Beijing Winter Games. So first question, so how would you rate your performance at the Beijing Games if the, if the full score is 10? I think 100. Uh -huh. I, mean, I mean 10 for sure. This is such amazing trip and uh, last two weeks man my, like one of the crazy weeks in my life for sure you know had a lot of good experience and uh, you know see so many friends family and fans definitely the best time ever so you, you said there's so many great memories here but if you got a pick which is the most memorable experience that you have in Beijing? it's hard to pick up because yeah okay if i'm gonna pick one it's gonna be uh, two days ago after first two runs, you know. I know I had enough score for the gold medals. And uh, right after I know the score, I know, I know I'm gonna grab the like, gold medals. I started like crying, you know. Last time crying like that, it was like five or six years ago when I was a little kid, you know. I cried with my coach and uh, he was just sitting next to me. Right? That was definitely the one of the special moments. Yeah, you also mentioned the moment after the winning time, you cried with your coach. So at that moment, what, what were you thinking? I guess there's so much emotions during that time. I was dream, dreaming like this moment past four years, you know, every day, every night, dreaming about this moment. But finally, this one feels a big dream, big, big dream come to true. I don't know how to say the feeling. I never felt that before, but it's like dream come to true for sure. So here at the Beijing Games, you pocket one gold and one silver, two precious Olympic medals. So, how insignificant to the two medals for you? Well, this is so hard, so hard to get the two medals, because you know the best rider in the world is just I'll come here for competing, and uh, everyone's riding so good. The the snowboarding just progressing so fast. Ah, uh, for me, we had a qualification in the final, right? But for me, it's like final, two final. It's now even like easy to make it the final. I gotta try my best in the qualification too, you know. That's we working on like past four years. You know, we know how hard it is and how like others are getting so good. I wanna appreciate like everyone. They are my idols since I start snowboarding and they're always like pushing me and I always like trying to be like them, follow them. So this is just a snowboarding. Yeah, speaking of that, I still remember the first time I met you with him, back in 2019, when you were still 15 years old at the Shogun Big Air. Uh, I think that was the World Cup that time. I still remember that time you finished 11th, if I'm correct. Yeah. So that's amazing. For the past three years, you grow so quick, right? So what happened during the past three years from a 15-year-old? At that time, I remember the media still described you as a snowboarding novice, not even uh, top level professionals, but after three years, you become a Olympic gold medalist. What happened? For the past? Well, I mean, even right now, I'm snowboarding lovers right now, you know, big fan of snowboarding. I still remember three years and a half, three and a half years ago in Shogun, same place, same jump. That's my first like mm, bigger World Cup in my life, you know. Also, that was such a good contest for me because I never competed World Cups before and I just missed final by one spot at the time I finished like 11th place. So from that time, I can see what's the difference between like me and these like top riders, you know. That pushing me so hard in past like three years. I gotta do my best. I know I'm like still like way different than like top riders. I gotta try my best and as much as I can, you know. It's hard to win the games but still I have to try. This is my dream. I want to, you know, having fun, but at the same time, okay, make dream come to true. And you're speaking of the venue here. Many people are amazed by how beautiful the Shogun Industrial Park and the slopes here. So what kind of feelings every time when you make jumps at the Shogun slopes? 
it's not like a competition or training. It's like show, you know. Even like for 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 myself, every time I'm going to the top, I was like so surprising. Like wow, what a building, you know. This is such a beautiful place. It's not only for like competition, you know. Just big show. I love riding this place, you know. I feel like more fun, more confident, you know. Just really trying to do my best. For the competition, yeah, I think that helps a lot. This is just such a beautiful place. Yes, we see the great success at the Beijing Games. So what behind it must be huge efforts. So we, the fast knows you start to、uh, play snowboarding since you were four year old, and now you're almost eighteen. So what kind of effort have you put throughout the years? And are there any point of time that you feel so exhausted, so tired, you want to give up, or there's no such time that keep your passion throughout? Ah、uh, no! Never give up. Never.、Um, the reason why I was doing this kind of thing, training, competition, the Olympic games, everything's come from love. It's all about love. I started snowboarding when I was four years old because my parents all love snowboarding. So, still remember the first time I, I go up to the mountain with my dad, right? First time I stand on my snowboard and riding down. I was like, "Whoa, this is gonna be one of my favorite sports for sure." So from that time, I'm in love with snowboarding. Spend my whole time, weekend, you know, vacation, everything into snowboarding. Just keep riding. But until 14 years old, I was still, you know, just going to school and、uh, snowboarding at the same time. You know, just trying to having fun. But I know I had the chance. To compete in Olympic Games at the 2022, you know, I know this is my hometown, my country. This is gonna be like such a big chance for me, you know. So I told myself, okay, I want to try to to compete in Olympic Games and try to get got these medals. But four years ago, I was like nothing. I still remember last time, last Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. I was in my house watching TV with my parents, my friends, you know. And that time, I told my parents, "Oh, I think this is gonna be so much fun to be in Olympic Games and compete with the top riders. I will try, you know. I will try my best to to be there. But the the most like important things, and my parents just support me a lot. They are all trusting me, you know. From that time, it's not even like a dream." It sounds like impossible, cause now the boys are doing 18 and 16. I can only do like 540 or 720 that rotation. You know, there's like huge difference. So almost sounds like impossible to make it. But that time my parents trust me a lot. You know, 100% trust me. So I, you know, I told myself I gotta do my best. Not just for myself, for my country, for snowboarding, for whole world. You know. And now just. Let's- Tomorrow gonna be your 18th birthday. So, what's the best wishes? Well, I think gold medal, for sure, for sure. This gold medals and the silver medals means a lot to me. That means like past four years, you know. You can see how hard I'm working on, but the something you cannot see is just people who behind me, who helps me, who loves me, my country, family, parents, everyone, you know. They love me so much, so much. Everyone's trying to try their best to get this gold medal. So, this gold medal is not only for myself; it's for everybody. I guess I had the best like birthday wish ever, never for my 18. You know.、Uh, you actually become an idol for the young generation, not only in China but across the globe. So, what kind of messages you want to send to the young,、uh, not only the snowboarding lovers but also all the young people? Who are facing challenges in their lives? What, what do you want to say? I know how like idol is important for someone. You know, I had my idol when I was really young, Mark Memorris. I started watching him like snowboarding when I was young, and、uh, watch him like doing triple cork or this kind of stuff. That's the time I know how snowboarding it is and、uh, pushing myself like so hard and always trying to be like him, follow him, how he talks. How he speak to everybody? I just keep learning. I wanna tell them, just like believe in yourself, like trust yourself, try your best as much as you can. You know, yeah, that's what I feel. I always like believe in myself. If you had a dream, 
just doing whatever you can and you will get there someday. It might become like late, but you know, it will come in anyways. Don't, yeah, don't give up.